What's up people, Cyborg Team here. Got another keyboard. Today I got the GIM SK84. As the name suggests, this has 64 keys, NK rollover, hot swappable Gateron optical switches. So this is gonna be my first time trying something like that. 60% body, RGB backlighting. It's programmable RGB backlighting, so we'll also check that out. It's wired, no wireless connectivity on this guy. It should be a detachable cable. Let's just crack into it and check it out. First, nice little box here. GIM SK84 mechanical gaming keyboard. Anything on here that I forgot? Uh, 1.76 pounds. You got your dimensions there. USB-C connectivity. That's about it. Let's crack it open. Nice packaging sealed up like fresh food. So you got your manual here and any hiding goodies. Got our, here we go, detachable USB-C to USB-A cable and that is braided quality. Put that to the side and what's in this box? This is probably a keycap cooler. Okay, we got a little metal keycap puller, and uh, I'm sorry, a metal switch puller and a plastic keycap puller. Now, oh yeah, nice weight on this. Nice legends. This feels great in the hand. So on the bottom here, you'll have your GIM uh, logo and just a little bit of more information. It's rubberized feet. No other kind of obtrusive logos anywhere. So, and at the top left, there's your USB-C connector. So let's plug this in, see what we got. Got some nice fluid RGB action there. And it looks like function backspace will let me change. Let's cut the lights off here. Okay, that turns the lights on or off. And we can stop the animation completely. Keep going. And this here changes the function. This is very smooth looking. I'm not sure if it's picking up in the camera very well. Okay. So brightness. Here's your speed. Gateron optical switches. Let's put those to the test right now. Guys, this feels really smooth. I love these optical switches already. Let's take a look to see what they look like. Gateron optical. And you can hot swap these with any other Gateron optical switch. Okay guys, I must say this is pretty dope. Okay, now on the manual here, it tells you you can download some software for this keyboard by going to this address. So we're gonna go there, download that, see what we got. 
All right, guys, so here's your software. Once you open it up, you're greeted with an uh, image of your keyboard. And it'll be in standard mode here. So when you're in standard mode, uh, there's nothing really you can do. You just you can click everything, but it doesn't let you really change anything. So now if you go over here, down here, it says layer one. Now you are in programming mode. You can uh, edit any of these keys up here. And down here you have every key that is available on a keyboard from escape to your uh, scroll lock you have right shift everything is down here your number pad that's a different tab so here's all your number pad um, keys there here's your media controls play next pause stop you have system shortcuts like paste and f20 you have mouse clicks and you have disabled all kinds of stuff here so let's go back to primary say for some reason you wanted to make the letter Z uh, backspace you just click Z now it's flashing it's ready to be edited you go down here click backspace and now Z is backspace on layer one if you want to make uh, V like right mouse click so you go down here you'll highlight your V go down to mouse and let's see right click and boom you're all set so over here you hit save or apply and it is now cemented into the keyboard programming uh, layer two has a couple things already set up on there but again you can edit those and layer three is where you'll have your function keys enabled backspace turns into delete all kinds of different stuff but again all of that is easily able to be edited so now also on layer one you can change the color scheme to let you know yourself know that you are in layer one so what you can do is go over here to driver and you can change uh, the keys to anything that you want so go to a uh, we can change A to whatever color this is. So boom, boom, boom. We can change actually, let's change all these to the yellow. Uh, we can we can pick any color that you absolutely want. If you know the, the code, the hex code, you can just type that in here. Um, let's go to this blue here. We can make the next nine keys this blue. So highly customizable. So if you hit view, now that is uh, actually showing up on my keyboard here. And if I like that, I can hit apply or save. And now that's what my keyboard looks like, boom. Also, you can go in here. If you go to LE files, which is up here, all the animations, you can customize all of these. So when you cycle through them on your keyboard, um, it'll be your customized version and then you can save that that's all you know pretty awesome and over here is macros now over here it's pretty simple you have add a macro you can copy one delete you can open one or you can save it so say I wanted to make a new macro here I can hit the plus and we'll give it a name let's call it cyborg hit confirm Boom, here's Cyborg. So now I can go down here, hit this button here. It's a play button, but it's recording. So I can hit that and I can just hit some keys here. I can say stop recording. And then through here, you can change the delay. Uh, the minimum delay you can have is five milliseconds. So you can go through here, change all your delays. You can change the actual key itself if you messed up. So you can delete you can copy you can edit all kinds of stuff here so i wouldn't say it's the most intuitive software out there but hey it works it's here and it's pretty comprehensive i would say so for 50 bucks that's pretty cool you get this nice keyboard here uh detachable cable programmable keys set your macros in there with the software that they give the software looks nice and pretty polished you know for 50 bucks it's not bad at all uh, plastic body with the rubber feet on the bottom gateron optical switches and they feel 
mighty smooth nice sounding keyboard so but that's it for this one if you enjoyed this video hit like hit subscribe share send it to one of your friends but that's it for me if you have any questions hit me in the comments i'll catch you in the next one